Hello everyone and welcome to VSF Christmas 2015 episode 18. My name is Jay Wakefield. Now in my last video I took you guys to the Aberdeen Christmas Village which to all intents and purposes is kind of some form of carnival. Unfortunately though like I said yesterday it wasn't really that good. I mean Everything there was kind of a paid-for thing. You couldn't really do much of anything unless you had any money. Now, I understand that um, money is what makes the world go round. But, um, you know, it really is not of any use to anyone having some sort of fair there unless everyone can get something out of it. I mean, after all, it is in the city centre. Well, today I thought I would actually take you to another carnival. Well, I say me. We'll get onto that later on. But this carnival is, well, it's a lot better organised. You really don't have to pay to do anything at this carnival. And it's not going to disrupt any city centre when this carnival is on. Now I said I was going to take you there. But actually, I'm not going to take you anywhere. Herbert Gus is going to take us to the Cookie Carnival. So, let's go. Hey then. Hi. Hi kids. Hi kids. My name is Gus and welcome to the carnival where there are lots of fun things to do and learn. The object of the game is to complete your ticket to the big top for the final show. As you explore, you will meet my friends, the Cyberbus. Ray, Ron, and Ray are hidden in each of the different areas of the carnival. Each time you discover all three buds, a portion of your ticket to the big top will get colored in. Before you can get in, you must find Rand with the other half of your ticket. He's the little blue guy with the pointed head, and he's hiding somewhere in the carnival. In level one of Find the Cyberbug game, Rand will appear on the screen with the other half of the ticket. In level two and three, Rand will appear and then run and hide somewhere in the carnival. Go find him. So if you're ready to have a blast at the carnival, just give a click and we're on our way. Well, why don't we? Thank you. 
Yeah, and the person who voices Gus is actually a folk singer for real. Okay, hope you have an A1 time in the Animal Lounge. Well, there's a Jaguar there. Surely that would be in the car park. Well, at the horse in the bath. Wow. Mighty fine spelunking, Lou. Mighty fine. <laughs> I thought that the Apple uh, smartwatch was uh, the thing to have. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama bumped. Nah. <laughs> Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys. I agree. There are many different kinds of monkeys. Pimps, orangutans, gorillas, spider monkeys. But enough of this monkey business. Let's rock and roll. Nice. So this game, you know, it's it's got nice musical numbers, it teaches uh, counting skills and kind of other kind of critical thinking skills and what have you. These really are fantastic, um, these really are fantastic games and I'm glad that, um, you know, they're kind of starting to make a resurgence on uh, touchscreen platforms like tablets and smartphones. There are that, there are this many peanuts. Nine! <laughs> Nine. Uh, did you find my German speaking joke very funny? Nine, five, three, four, four, six, seven, eight. Nine, five, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine, zen. 
10. Oh, well done. Right, well, I think we've had enough of that. <laughs> oh, Jenks, do we have to? Let's all go to the animal lounge where the tigers are. Let's, let's all believe that this is how animals hang out after um, the circus, you know? The, the fact that... Let's, let's all kind of imagine... <laughs> yeah, they, they, they can all play blackjack and take a bath and lie in the bed and... Sit on top of the TV with a... Some sort of mandala... Uh, mandala... But there, uh, ukulele. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how AOL Technical Support was born. <laughs> This is a very creepy sounding song. Actually, I must admit, it sounds a lot like the um, the latter part of the uh, Dawning of the Age of Aquarius song. Where I come from in the rainforest, water is very precious. So don't be a trip, double with the flow, and remember every drop counts. I really like to build things. Building these skyscrapers is a lot of work. It's much easier than sitting on top of the world. So you can tell which market this game is meant for. Uh, I don't know my state, if I'm going to be honest. I, I really don't. Um, North Carolina? I don't know. North Carolina. The Wright brothers flew the first airplane at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. North Carolina first in getting high. <laughs> what about the big rectangle? Is that the big rectangle? Pennsylvania. Yes, it is. The black horses of the state flag of Pennsylvania are chargers. Chargers are horses that have been trained for battle. No, chargers are V8 Dodge muscle cars. Get it right, Gus. You need to sort it out. What about this we stay here? Massachusetts. Taxachusetts. The Boston Tea Party is one of the many important events that helped shape the history of America. I think here's a state that I'd like to visit. Um... Massachusetts. Nope. The motto on the state flag of Massachusetts means... By the sword we seek peace, but peace only under liberty. Covered Bridge, Vermont. See you soon, your friend, Gus. 
Oh, that's so beautiful, it makes me want to cry red, white, and blue tears. Actually, Vermont is probably a state I'd like to visit, as is North Carolina and the big rectangle. So, what about if we got... Is this Virginia? Virginia. This is a picture of Mount Vernon, Virginia, the home of first President George Washington. Tennessee. Elvis uh, Presley, a famous singer, lived in Tennessee in a house that he named Graceland. Mesa Verde, Colorado. Wish you were here, Gus. Yes. What about Texas? Texas. Texas is known as the Lone Star State, and that is why the state flag has only one star on it. Oklahoma. In the center of the state flag of Oklahoma is a Native American war shield. The small crosses on the shield are the Native American symbol for stars. Kansas. The motto in the seal of the state flag of Kansas means, to the stars through difficulties. This saying is used in memory of the seven years of struggle before Kansas joined the Union. So I, I like it because it's like you can learn a wee bit about the United States. You can It just kind of has all kinds of educational things wrapped up in a nice wee game about a carnival. I, I like this. I, I very much like this. Montana. Montana. Montana is known as the Treasure State because of the gold rush that happened there in the 1800s. Washington. Washington is known as the Evergreen State because of the many trees that grow there. Seagull in Oregon. See you soon. Your friend, Gus. There we go, Oregon, the Oregon Trail. Missouri. This is a picture of the St. Louis Arch, the gateway to the West. Yes. Okay, I think we're done learning about states. Oh, we sand sculptures. I like that. <laughs> That's the weirdest sounding dug I ever heard. That too is the weirdest sounding dug I ever heard. Should I have let the um, airport? Should I have let the aviation authorities know about that helicopter hat? Huh? An airplane is able to lift up into the air because of the way air crosses an airplane's wings. This is called the Bernoulli effect. Good old Bernoulli. Bernoulli, <coughs> the, there was also um, a disk drive that used a Bernoulli effect um, called the Bernoulli box and on a Bernoulli box the um, platters I believe never touched the disk. Now the Bernoulli box was actually quite, well it wasn't that popular but it did give rise 
to the humble zip drive and other drives like it. I'm starting to talk like Gus now. <laughs> kind of okay. <laughs> Why? Okay, didn't know they made popcorn in a drum. Ah, if it's important, they'll call back. Leave it as golf balls because I'm Scottish. When you're ready, just pick and flip. I've got everyone in um, the prop tent and in the animal uh, lounge. So now I just need the slideshow, the midway, and whatever that's supposed to be. So go to the carnival, come one and all, we can have a... I, lo I love the theme tune to this tent. It's just totally dark. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, hope you have a stellar time in the Sideshow tent. I just love the Sideshow, because it's so weird. Those folks are saying you do be able to crazy like the thing. Let's make a creature. <laughs> I 
Actually, why don't I choose a different colour? <laughs> I like the colour blue, so we'll choose something. Well, actually, no, we'll, we'll stick. Ah, <laughs> yes! Right. <laughs> no. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not going to work. Now there's that. It's a shame that. All, all the funny hairstyles. No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Is there something you find comical about my appearance, boy? You know... This is the way I was made. Y'all ought to respect that. Did you know that the fax machine was invented in Scotland? On July 4th, 1776, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the Declaration of Independence was approved by the Continental Congress. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all people are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Wow, didn't realise the pursuit of happiness was actually a right. If that was the case, then why does the Republican Party exist? Ugh. So I'm just going to have a wee look at the um, at my punch card. Alright, so I'm getting underway. Any by Bally Medway? Well done, you managed to do the song.
I have the tiger. I have the tiger. Yeah. I can be an all-star basketball player and score the winning shot for my team. Excellent. Huh? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why did he? They get to the other side. Forget! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well done. I don't expect that kind of a joke from someone whose hair is the colour of a banana. And away I go! So I've got the letter Q. See, I'm gonna try and H C G is for goat. So you've got to match up the let so an animal has you know who has a letter it kind of begins Ugh. B B is for bunny. Oh, now I know how to do it. <laughs> Basically, you've just got to match the letters in this level. Thanks. Thanks, Obama. F is for fox. R is for raccoon. Rakens! That's what I've got! Rakens! So I need Z again. Z is for zebra.
Well, what do you know, mate? These rides make it seem like you're Australian. Pretty sure there's some uh, some older uh, desk drives used gears. Somebody didn't stay away from the brown floppies. All aboard! Chugga 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 So this is basically what everything culminates in, the big top. So that was um, that was level one of Gus goes to the Kooky Carnival, and I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, I'm actually going to finish the video here, um, you know. So um, this request this video was requested by Billy Core. So um, Billy, I really do hope you enjoyed the video, um, and that goes for the rest of you as well. I hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you have, please feel free to subscribe, 
to this channel. Also, feel free to like Videos on Frontier on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Um, but for now, thank you for watching this video and please join me for my next one. Cheerio, bye.